Hey folks, Engineer775, hope you're staying warm. Wanted to talk to you about a few tips, some um, old timey techniques of uh, how to stay warm and when it's uh, as brutally cold as it's been. And um, there's uh, some materials that are really good for uh, conducting heat, radiating heat. And I had a couple pieces of soapstone. Um, this one's about a 13 pound uh, piece of soapstone and I just drilled and put some put some handles in it. Now people used to have these and they used to call them bed warmers and um, I wanted to, you know, you might have a room in your house that's really cold and uh, if you didn't have uh, the way to heat your home you know, how would you stay warm? It's very important you stay warm. If you're not warm you're not going to get a good night's sleep. You're going to burn up a lot of calories staying warm. So one of the old techniques was to use a bed warmer uh, the Amish use them, a lot of people in Scandinavian countries use them and basically all you do is heat it up. Now I got my wood stove, my wood cook stove going and my oven is around 375 right now so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put I'm going to put that in there and I got two of them take two of these I'm just going to place it in my leave the handles forward so I can grab them with the Grab it with a glove pretty easy. One. Well, I'll be able to get that with a glove. So I'm going to let those soapstones heat up. The neat thing about soapstone, it is super dense. And what I mean by that is water can't even penetrate the soapstone. Um, if you get into heating rocks uh, to do this, be very careful because the rocks will explode. Some rocks will aren't as porous and water will be in there and you will create steam in the rock and it will blow up on you so don't, don't be careful there <laughs> but soapstone is so dense um, one of the key uh, material properties of it one of the um, components in soapstone is magnesite and the thermal conductivity is super high and it really radiates really well so this is nothing new I love finding old things and readapting them you might have seen um, uh, there were uh, trays that people used to put coals in and then stick it in a bed. That's kind of dangerous to me, and that's kind of the, so it would cause um, it to possibly burn your bed up. <laughs> but um, having good layers, blankets, comforters, sleeping bags, um, the ability to to hoard or store heat, finding rooms where you can actually insulate them with materials. If you're really in a bind now, a lot of people. You know, I remember in Michigan a couple of weeks ago, they had to go to hotels. What if you, you couldn't go to a hotel? What if you had to stay where you were and it's freezing and you need to stay warm? There's some neat techniques like these soapstones um, that uh, will allow you to stay stay warm. So you, you warm these up. We're going to let this warm up and s stabilize. And I'm going to leave them in there for probably 30 minutes or so. And, uh, and then you can put them in a bag. You can wrap them up in a quilt. Um, you don't want to get it too hot. That's why I like using an oven. You don't want to get too hot. You don't want to get up into the auto ignition temperature of uh, like paper or cotton um, and uh, start a fire with these things. So you don't want to go crazy. You don't want to burn your feet or, or your body parts with them. So I'm just sticking in an oven. It's around 375 and that will burn you. Yes, it will. Um, so, um, but I'm going to put them in a bag and, um, and then we'll put them in a, you know, in the foot of a bed and that can really warm up a bed. So uh, look up bed warmers, you'll find them, and you can make them. I just made these, um, made these out of some chunks of soapstone and made some handles for them, pretty simple to, to make. Soapstone's really cool stuff. Um, be careful with the rocks. Now you could heat those outside on a fire and then bring them in. And there was a gentleman who was messing around his Jeep in Nevada the other last week or a couple weeks ago. Um, and stranded him and his uh, girlfriend and kids in for two days and um, he was pretty stupid for doing what he did but he was very resourceful in that he heated up rocks and put them in the in the Jeep and that kept his loved ones from being frostbitten so he was very smart in what he did and that's the same technique I'm using here is just to, to heat, heat an object to put it in a bed in a room um, in a tent uh, this is a way that you could stay warm if you had if you're out in the wilderness. Heat rocks. You can cook with rocks. You can boil food with rocks. There's so much you can do. Just be careful about what type of rock because you can get a lot of moisture in them and they will explode on you. 
Uh, soapstone will not do that. I've never seen it do that. It's not capable of absorbing water like other rocks. Okay, well we're going to let those heat up. Alright, let's check on our soapstone, see how she's doing. Looks the same, but how hot is she? She's about 180, 200, uh, it's up to 200 degrees. So what I'm going to do, I'll take a chunk of this out, and I'm going to time uh, temperature. Um, this stuff's so awesome. I'll leave that piece in there. Um, I've got a bag. I'm going to put this in. And uh, just this cheap disposable bag. I'll probably melt it and burn it. But uh, you can just feel the heat coming off of this block. So I'm going to put that in there. It's kind of a sacrificial bag. This could be a quilt. This could be anything. This is actually a doomsday prepper bag but uh yeah it's already it's nice and warm just wanted to put it between uh you know the sheets and that block um otherwise my wife would get mad oh yeah that thing is putting out some nice heat right now so very good let's cut that off okay i've taken the soap stone and put it in a bag and then set it at the foot of uh, my bed and uh, what I measured on the outside of the bag uh, to make sure everything's safe, nothing's burning. It's about a hundred and about 110 degrees. So yeah, this thing is nice and toasty. So that's what you do. You use a soapstone and um, the old bed warmers you used to be able to just like you'd kind of drag them and put them in different places. So if it's if this room is really cold, which is not today, um, this would uh, would help a lot. If you're if you have rooms or cabins with rooms that are way away from the central heating or the wood stove, then consider using a, a bed warmer. Um, they're very simple to make. You can buy chunks of soapstone like I did on eBay and make handles and put them um, in in your oven. You could heat them outside on a stove if you wanted to. And and that's it. Let's see what we got for temperature in here now. What do we got for temp? So that bag's reading 110, 112, 114 degrees, 119, 100. So that's really, really nice. So um, again, um, for a you know, if you're in a crisis situation and you have no power, you want to keep everybody nice and warm and you want to get a good night's sleep. If you're freezing, you will not sleep well. There's a lot of ways to stay warm. This is just one way. This is an old-timey way. It's a way that I thought was really cool. I wanted to share it with you. Um, I'm not exactly sure. You can you can get these pre-made probably some places. I think um, Vermont Soapstone has them. But if you want to build your own, you can do that too. Very simple to do. So highly recommend Soapstone. If you have a Soapstone stove, you know what I'm talking about. They'll radiate for hours. And um, that's what my dad uses. It's been going since October, and it'll go till May. <laughs> and um, it really radiates using that soapstone. So um, been around forever, and it works really good for radiating heat. So uh, stay warm, my friends. Engineer seven seven five signing out. Okay, folks. I pulled the uh, soapstone out of the bag and. It's at three hours exactly since it was uh, removed from the oven, put in the bag, and thrown in the bed to produce heat. And it's just been radiating ever since. So I'm going to let's see what we're getting for temperatures on here. So um, still at 120 degrees. Just so you know, my meter's working. The floor temperature is 69 degrees. And we've got 122 this thing is, it's just, soapstone's awesome. That's just what soapstone does. So can you imagine three hours of having this block and say in, in the bottom of a sleeping bag, in the bottom of a bed, and just radiating heat, uh, allowing you to get a good night's sleep, maybe in a very cold area in your house, maybe the stove's gone out, um, but you're still nice and uh, cozy. So anyway, just thought that was really awesome. I was going to say really cool, but it's not. It's really hot. 122 degrees. Um, it's pretty impressive.
So, um, you know, I can touch it, but it's still, I mean, that is a warm stone right there. I mean, that thing is just awesome. So, that is great. That is hot. I mean, that that is hot. <laughs> so, I don't feel hotter on this side, but it's not. The surface temperature, so it's hotter on the inside. Anyway, that is a method to stay warm in the cold. Engineer 775 signing out again. Concept. So wouldn't it be cool, light a match, light a fire, and make enough power to run a home or, or at least zero out your power bill. And again, something that can run rain or shine 24-7. And it might be a great addition to your solar or your, already your, your current backup 